Honourable Member Empton Beverly Clareview, followed by Empton Castle Downs. Mr. Speaker, yesterday I asked the Minister of Infrastructure how many school construction projects the PC government had misled Albertans about, to which he did not provide an answer. Today we've learned of empty snow-covered fields where the government told us that construction was already underway. I guess I'll have to direct my question to the Minister of Education. When will you come clean and give accurate information about the status of these new schools? Well, Mr. Speaker, I don't know how many times uh, my colleague or I have to stand in the House and provide the accurate information, which we already did. Uh, again today, 230 school projects, creating about 78,000 new student spaces. And uh, we are moving forward on uh, the uh, tranche one and two and three projects. We're opening uh, a couple of schools this week. Uh, schools are being built or they are in design phase, they're in permitting phase. The, uh, uh, the earth movers are moving, the shovels are going in the ground, and the, minute, the member opposite will see that these schools will be built on time. Thank you. First supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Pounding a sign in the ground does not count as under construction. Given that the update the Minister of Infrastructure gave Albertans on Monday stated 115 new schools will be open by the fall of 2016, and given that school boards are telling us there is no chance many of these new schools will be open by the fall of 2016, how can you possibly tell Alberta families that you're going to open these schools on time? Honourable Minister. Well, uh, Mr. Speaker, all you have to do is look at the projects that uh, we are working on right now and see that we are making considerable progress on those towards our deadlines. And the fact that uh, we're opening two new schools later this week is a prime example of our commitment to meet our guidelines and meet our goals and meet our commitment to the children of Alberta. Well, Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given that Alberta needed new schools years ago, and given that students have had to learn in makeshift classrooms or ride the bus for hours each day to get to school, and given that parents and families are tired of waiting, to the Minister of Education, do you actually think that misrepresenting the progress on new schools is going to hide your incompetence for very long? Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, last week I was in Lac La Biche and we opened a new school. Previously, I have been in Airdrie and we opened a new school. No. We're opening a new school in Chestermere later and in Airdrie within the next week. These are indications of promise made, promise kept. We're committed on 232 school projects for the children of Alberta. That is visionary leadership.